I'm Laura and I work here at Cats Protection in Hosenware. Our charity is working hard to keep us all safe so that we can take the best care of our cats. This cat here is Archie and he's 15 years old. He's got wonky ears because he had to have the top of his ear taken off by the vet because he had cancer. Archie's completely well now and we're making sure he gets time with us every day for strokes and um, he likes to sit on a lap. Um, so we're making sure that he has all the cuddles he needs. I'm going to read this book for you and especially for Olivia, Alfie and Harry. And thank you to Shona for giving me this idea. This book is called Jeremy Mouse and Cat. It was one of my favourites when I was a child and I hope you like it too. Jeremy was playing with his brothers and sisters in the garden when suddenly they saw Cat. Cat was asleep under the apple tree and he was purring. Why don't we play a joke on Cat, said Jeremy. Don't be silly, it's much too dangerous, said the others as they ran off home. Jeremy climbed the apple tree and sat on a branch, wondering what he could do. Then, almost by accident, he knocked an apple and it fell off the tree and it fell onto Cat. Cat woke up with a yowl of rage. He looked up and he saw Jeremy peering down through the leaves. Spitting with anger, he, he sprang up the tree after Jeremy. Luckily for Jeremy, there was a small hole in the tree trunk and he dived quickly in. Jeremy felt very frightened as he huddled in the hole. He could hear Cat prowling and growling around looking for him. Jeremy sat and waited. He cried a little. Oh, how he wished he had not been so stupid. If only he'd run home with his brothers and sisters. Then someone called. Puss, puss, puss. It was time for supper. Better than mouse, thought Cat, and he slithered down the tree and hurried off home. That was a narrow squeak, thought Jeremy, as he ran all the way home. I won't play jokes on Cat again. It's too dangerous. Thank you for listening to the story. I think Archie is feeling sleepy now, and I hope you sleep well too. I've got my next story ready, and I look forward to bringing it to you soon. Bye for now.